So 200 million years ago, you have to picture, uh, South Africa is a very different place. It's got vast floodplains spreading out into the distance. The Cape Mountains were probably the size of the Himalaya, and they were shedding rock and sediment into the interior basin of, of what's today the Free State and the Eastern Cape. And those rocks that were coming in were actually covering up the skeletons of animals that had died. About 30 years ago, a man named Professor James Kitching, who worked here for vets collecting fossils, was doing a survey, and he found these huge bones just lying in the felt, and he, he brought them back. Now, one of our volunteers, a woman named Cynthia Kemp, had been moving the collection. We were in process of some renewal, and she said, man, these are big. Hi, Rick. How are you doing? How you doing? And she pointed them out to my predecessor, Dr. Adam Yates. And he actually traced down the historical record. He walked up this valley, up onto a little platform on a cliff, and there were more bones coming out of the rocks. And when he left Vitz, this job still wasn't done. So I went back um, in 2012 with my graduate student, Blair, and we found even more stuff coming out. In 2017, I took a, a visiting um, technician on a tour of the area, and I just wanted to show him, you know, this is where this giant material comes from. And our collections manager, Sifalani, walked up this cliff and he kicked something with his boot and he looks down and he said, is this important? And I said, yeah, that's the first finger bone of, uh, of this animal. Um, and it turned out that that finger bone was the piece of the animal that showed that it was totally different from the other dinosaurs we knew. I'm sitting here with a new species of dinosaur called Ladumahari mafubi, which we're describing this week. here in the basement of the Evolutionary Studies Institute and I'm going to take you through our collections and show you a bit about this giant dinosaur we've just discovered. The bones on these shelves here are the bones of Ladumahari Mafubi, a 12-ton giant from the Jurassic of South Africa. Now this animal is completely enormous and I just want to give you an idea of the sense of scale we're talking about. This here is just one toenail from this animal. It's easy to match it up to your hand and say, wow, its, it's toenail is, is the length of my hand. But in life, this would have had a keratinous sheath, something like your fingernails, that would have extended far out from the tip of this. And what's special about the Dumahadi is it's the biggest animal that was alive on Earth at that time. In fact, it was the biggest thing ever to have evolved 200 million years ago. It's twice the size of an African elephant today. It's about 12 tons. And it would have stood more or less four meters high at the hips. So the Dumahadi isn't the biggest dinosaur ever found. In fact, dinosaurs get much bigger. But what's interesting about the Dumahadi is it's the first giant, the first true giant that evolves in a long line of dinosaurs called sauropod dinosaurs. And what's neat is that the origins of that group, and really the origins of gigantism, start here in southern Africa. And Ladumahadi is the first example we find in the record that's truly enormous in size. There's lots of power in a name, obviously, um, and we wanted to choose a name that was appropriate for this animal, that, that respected how, how grand it is. And the name Ladumahadi means a giant thunderclap in Sasutu. Mafubi means dawn. It's sort of the light that breaks the horizon just before the sun comes up. And so together the name means a giant thunderclap at dawn. 